do a short one about the Ohio Rackets boss, uh, Vincent De Niro, James Vincent De Niro. He was murdered, blown up in a car, on Monday, July 17, 1961, in downtown Youngstown, Ohio. De Niro had controlled vending machines, lottery, a lot of rackets around Cleveland. And he owned, uh, as well as Youngstown, obviously, he co-owned Cicero's Restaurant uh, in downtown as well. It was, it was across the street from where he was murdered. De Niro was close to Cleveland Mafia guys, Calegero Malfitano, uh, who was supposed to be his mentor, and Cadillac Charlie Carvalho, and uh, dopey Anthony DeSlanter. So uh, I think he thought with those guys behind him, he could just wreak havoc in the world. On the night he was murdered, De Niro had a late dinner with some friends at the Cafe 442 in Warren, Ohio. At midnight, they dropped him. He was with two guys, Robert Perella, who owned a pizza shop, and a jeweler named Jimmy Mordarella. They drove De Niro to his car. The car actually belonged to his girlfriend, Edith Magnolia. Uh, his car, De Niro's actual car, was parked behind Perella's pizza shop a few blocks away. He chose to drive his girlfriend's car because he figured they would try to car bomb him. He knew that was going to happen or would happen. He got in the car, turned the ignition at uh, 11 minutes after 12. It blew up. The blast was the equivalent of 10 sticks of dynamite, according to the state police. The hood of De Niro's car was blown up uh, onto the roof of a nearby two-story building. Windows around the district were shattered. De Niro's body was never recovered. It was just in pieces. It was, at that point, the fifth, uh, 75th bombing in Youngstown area in a decade and the fifth gangland murder uh, in less than two years. 75 bombings in, in a decade, wow. So in March of 1960, De Niro, here's what caused all this. De Niro killed the Youngstown leading uh, Pittsburgh aligned, he was aligned with the Pittsburgh mob, mobster, this guy named Joey Naples, along with Naples' girlfriend. He walked up and he shotgunned them both to death. Uh, Naples and De Niro had been partners in a few rackets and something happened as a falling out. In the late 50s, they became rivals and then just ended up hating each other. Uh, De Niro wanted him out. Uh, he didn't want Pittsburgh in there. He wanted Youngstown for himself. So De Niro surrendered to the police because he was the prime suspect. There was a lot of questioning, but there was no evidence. So he was released. After Sandy Naples was murdered, his brothers, the Naples brothers, hired this guy, Dominic Moy, M-O-I-O, -O, of Canton, Ohio, to blow up De Niro's car, which he did just two weeks after Billy Naples' murder. Uh, Moy was later hired by the Cleveland Mafia to set uh, up a vendetta car bombing uh, murder of Billy Naples, the brother of uh, the, the first Naples, Sandy Naples. Uh, in 1962. Moy played both sides of his internal gang war. Uh, and of course, it caught up with him. He was shot to death, stuffed in the trunk of his car, and set on fire and left there uh, outside Canton, Ohio. Everybody! Hands up! Hands up! Stick them up! This is a holdup! I said stick them up! You see this? Do you know what this is? It's a grenade! And I'm pulling the pin, so no funny business! Oh. You know, if I drop this thing, it's gonna go off, and you'll all be blown to smithereens, so... Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Get moving! Get moving over there! Move it! You two, you two... Beat it up! Come on! All right, keep those hands up. Okay, that's good. You, take this. Who put money in it? Come on, come on, come on. All available units, 211 Silent, in progress, Pacific National Bank, 48th and Wells, 48th and Wells.
Dugan here. Would you repeat? We have a 211 in progress at Pacific National Bank 48. Holy well. shit! <laughs>